as we sing this again, I'm seeing us, as it were, kiss the king's ring and pledge our allegiance to the king. And what I was seeing started out early in the service. It was almost like a State of the Union address. And we were waiting and the cameras were rolling. And, you know, the guy comes out and announces, King Jesus, King of the universe. And we started cheering. And there were people there of great majesty and dignity. And they didn't even care. They just took their coats off. They started throwing them in the air. They took their ties off and they cheered and they cheered that King Jesus was there. And he walked up and he took the podium. He was supposed to give a speech, but they just kept cheering and cheering and, and cheering. And finally, they couldn't even give a speech. They brought out a a thing for him to sit on and ride on and they started carrying him around the, the place and they just cheered him and as we went on he took the podium again and, and we started worshiping him and ultimately the purpose I feel like the Lord is drawing us for is to pledge our allegiance to him not to seek our comfort in our bank account or in our fleshly comforts but to kiss his ring and say, each one of them, I mean, there's George Washington there. Winston Churchill came up and kissed his ring. I pledge my, I pledge my allegiance to the king. I just wonder if we sing this again, if we could, as it were in our, in our hearts, go up to the throne and kiss his ring and say, Jesus, you're my king. You're my Lord. You're, the, you're my joy. You're the one, the only one. Ooh. 